and welcome to chapter 157 of Blood from a Stone, a tale of love and dread in RPG, where we begin our 13th set of 13 episodes. My name is Philip, and I am the Dreadmaster, and I am joined by four of our wonderful players. Say good evening, players. Good evening, players. You know, it's interesting because I believe that when we sort of like, in our most recent times to paradise, leaving paradise both in after the very first sort of set of episodes and also after the last one, I think it was just this crew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, think this was just I mean, the last, well, also the last like full when it was just paradise, like. Yeah. yeah, we had other there. There were other players in Paradise. You know, we started off and like Andrew and Jed were in this game, and Laura was here a good bit. But I think by the time Paradise wrapped, I think they had all been murdered enough times that they said we don't want to play this anymore. Mm -hmm. And though Andrew has returned, and then yeah, Jeremy didn't really start until the uh, Merkshire arc. So it's it's nice to see you all here. And a, nice to see you in a fitting sort of thing as we. Thank you. Here, as we return to Paradise, which I also know that though though many of our sort of longer time viewers uh, have seen the, saw like the, the Morgan Mason and uh, Alvin Theodore arc of Paradise, they were not here for that original, or for much of the original one, I think actually. Sophia, you, your first episode was a, uh, was like a Judge, uh, a Judge, uh, Judge McGregor episode, right? I think. So, um, that's right. This is kind of the sort of these this this the, the significance of paradise is really just kind of to me and to some of the players, because Liv has the distinction of being um, the only sort of remaining cast member oh, from gee. That, that opening thing, and not only that, Liv, you we've sort of indicated final girl, final girl, what's happening here. Well, Zeke did die pretty terribly, but Zeke yep. was subsequently resurrected, um, and Zeke is currently the the sort of the only. Uh, you know, original party member. Original party member here. OPM. It does, it does feel like OPM. Do, does feel what? Does feel like going home. It does kind of feel like it really going home. does. So well, very good. Well, um, however, one thing that is going to be different about this little trip to paradise is that we you are no longer using fifth edition sort of survivor rules for this last 13. I kind of wanted to mix things up and try something different. So we are using, uh, those of you who joined us on Wednesday got a little sneak peek of this. We are using a new system. My code name for it is Unforeseen, but I'm sure I'll come up with something better than that. It is a D20 system, but kind of with a slightly, a little more sort of along the lines of how I like to run games. Um, so we have sort of things, you're going to recognize some components from some of our other systems, but it is ultimately, this one is a roll a d20. For you players, I will mention that what you want to do is roll a d20 and roll as high as you can. Um, if you roll a natural 20, you recover one power, Ooh. Um, which is cool. And I think that at least one of you may have... Um, a facet, uh, yeah, Zeke, actually, if you, you should go ahead and use your power kind of to a little extent, because if you ever roll a nat 20, you get two back. Oh, you, okay. So, like, roll a nat 20, boom, boom, two, two power right back there. Um, so, uh. Where does it say that? It's, that is, uh, that is your 13th facet, in fact. Mm -mm -mm. And, uh, I, see. I know, we'll sort of, we'll, there, this, new to the, new to the system, everyone will, will get it figured out. Um, side note, tonight I'm burning the patron of faces, just because the scent of it, elderflower. Embers and Amber felt vaguely homecoming-like and also a little eerie. That's just what I'm up to over here. We like cantrip candles, but this game is not associated with them, <laughs> which I say because of the, the bad stuff we say. Oh, yes, so, um, yeah, Liv, some stuff you missed in the in the final days of the island included the non-Euclidean orgy and um, the, uh, yeah. The, you missed an orgy? Yeah. You missed an orgy where people's bought... It was, remem remember what, pe what happened to Penny and the the now named manager, mm -hmm. formerly a name we don't say anymore. Remember what happened to them? Were their bodies fused? This happened, but pleasurably and sexual, and they became uh, Zane's pilot character uh, was turned them into a flesh plane, and he was really riding the stick. A pleasure he, plane. Y'all, yeah. sorry, I missed or <clears throat> this. My grandmother died. I had conventions to go to. I got COVID. It's been a long fucking yeah. 
and you month and a half. My Corona. Yeah, no. You missed an orchid. And shut up. It's good. Glad we're all back together. Dan Woo! never changed. Good to be back. Dan never changed at all. Um, so, um, <laughs> um, <clears throat> oh wow, uh, somebody called Zane Swords just uh, donated a bunch of uh, community gifts, which is very nice of whoever that is. Who is that strange? That. I say, I say, I say, the okay. joke has gone so far around the first second I wanted to be like, as a joke, no, it's Zane's words. <laughs> you wanted to jokingly say it was Zane's words. <laughs> Who is that? We've come full circle. Oh, oh yeah. man, that's funny, guys. Things. That's funny. Yeah, that it, that does happen sometimes where you go all the way around and forget what reality is, um, which is a metaphor. I do that every day. Exactly. <laughs> um, so I guess uh, to, to, to lead us into today's session, I will say that um, after the events on the island, various entities were able to escape or to, to depart the Dreadland. Um, this has been happening, honestly, since the uh, since the mist surge was the first time that happened. But two other individuals made it out post that, and uh, because of this, Maisie was very frustrated, took it out on the people there on the island, and seemed to initiate something called Protocol One Fifty Six, which took a lot of people out, shut everything down, and. Uh, as CJ Soot lay dying, he suggested that Maisie was probably going to get back to basics to sort of try to accomplish something that there's these other forces such as Dracula and this nightmare writer causing trouble. Um, other things we should know, sort of other plot threads that were open, is that Rawlings and Zeke were aboard the Dreadland Express. We briefly caught up with them during our time on the island when the Dread subs watched a film about them and some of the survivors in De Leckergerton. Uh, they got back on board their train. And it, they had one other passenger join them. An unprecedented passenger named Johannes Gerstenford, who was the previous, or, and, and I suppose still is, but was the, was the dreadlord of De Leckergerten. He's kind of a strange plant, like, sort of, Braumeister, I think, was his, was his term. Blau Meister. Blau Meister. Yeah, so, um, so yeah, we, we, when we left them, he and, uh, <laughs> he and, uh, Rawlings were sitting, I think, uncomfortably close for Rawlings' comfort. Um, Rawlings was not loving this guy's just, like, presence with him and sort of, hey, I'm gonna, I'm, so we're gonna, we're gonna hang out. We're going to have all our meals. It, it's probably both on a, like, like practical level of, like, like oh, hey, let's have, have, have lunch and dinner together every day on the strain, as well as in a, you know, um. Yeah. Well, as well as, well as, as a personal that, safety kind of thing. Yeah, as well as the fact that he can cause many death. Um, oh, God in heaven, I literally cannot every single there are so many different overlays here and i haven't locked all of them but i really that's need to. your fault philip i mean you no it's not we have different around. games you keep moving us oh well yeah no it's that i have to lock all things on every channel even though this happens when i'm clicking in a different program that is a genuine complaint i have about streamlabs this isn't what I should be doing right now is complaining about streamless, but I'm just going to. Why is it that if I am moving a, f a window in front of it, it grabs that thing in the face? I can't even. Anyway, thanks for doing it. Oh, we're in a hype train. Well, well we've, been, we've been hyping. We've been trying. We've been writing yeah, that. Maybe. We've been hyped. Spe we've been running a train for a while now. God, come on. Hey, Lauren, uh, I want you to be a little careful with what you say. You probably don't know this, but that term actually has a meaning to something. What does it mean? Well, what does it mean? When a Explain mommy, it to me to, okay, dread daddy. When a mommy and about six or seven daddies love each other very much. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have to love each other very much? No, they don't. That's the beauty. <laughs> uh, when they, when they kind of like each other when sometimes. A, when a mommy and six or seven daddies are bored, and I don't know if if kind of want to spit on each other, they do this thing called uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> um, you were also an educational chief. 
We are. <laughs> we're putting the we put the edge in educational. Uh, <laughs> that's, pretty that's pretty good. I can't that believe I've never good. heard that before. That feels like a thing. I haven't. That, one's that, one, that one's actually pretty good. That was I'll fresh give you that. Cake. to me. Yeah. Mm. Well, anyway, you get one, Dan. <laughs> um. Goodness. Okay. Yeah, that's the, that's the spirit. We're back to it. I'm back, baby. Um. So yes. Yeah, so as Rawlings and Zeke board the Dreadland Express. That being said, we might, um, well, we'll sort of see how some things go here. Um, the Dread Clock sits at five. Mm-hmm. I was considering altering how I was going to sort of handle the... Zane has put something interesting into our ad. <laughs> which is that what he said was we put the anal in educate anal which I'm gonna say is funny but not as not as like as like pitch perfect as not what as Dan clean. Said. that's why I put it in the chat yeah understood <laughs> I'm just and I'm not trying I just want everyone to understand why everyone here paused and like was like half laughing because I like it I feel like there's something in it it's better it would be better if you said it than if you than if you wrote it educate anal I like how the player chat is no longer secret. <laughs> People will cite the player chat if they feel it is I mean, uh, funny to, enough. It's important, to sell it now. <laughs> it's important to spray it, don't say it. Well, oh, that's been true for... <laughs> um, so I think I'm going to be keeping uh, the same rubric of, of, um, of our invocations as players. But... There is something I wanted to do, just perhaps just tonight. Um, because the vibe of paradise is um, the get box is, a, is an important sort of thing. So this is a consider this like a pre consider this a uh, a pre invocation or a a prevarication. Mm-hmm. There's a graveyard on the edge of town, the best that's ever been. With a line of hearses around the block, folks are dying to get in. Every headstone is a work of art, every tomb a masterpiece. And the grounds are manicured with care, out of love for the deceased. And when I see you, baby, I'm as desperate as the dying, as the lying and the crying, as the trying and the vying. And when I feel you, baby, my afterlife begins. Your body's like that graveyard. I'm just dying to get in. Amazing. That's a song from Blood From A Stone, an album that was recorded in this place. A song of dread. As for our true invocation for chapter 157 of Blood From A Stone. Then I'm down in the bottom of a pit in the blazing sun torn and twisted the foot of a burning bike and I think somebody somewhere must be tolling a bell and the last thing I see is my heart still beating breaking out of my body and flying away like a bat out of hell oh we're back to the good stuff we're back baby sleepy lake is on the edge of paradise where the mists cover many of the sort of graveyards and more eerie places on the edge of town. Across the lake is a summer camp, Camp Sleepy Lake, that at this time of year is often completely covered and enshrouded by mist. Though, if you're the kind of teenager who likes to go out and drink and hook up on the sort of shores of this spooky spot. You can occasionally catch glimpses of the cabins and canoes and the 
disappears across the water through the mist. And it is at this lake that we begin our return to paradise. There are several high school students from Paradise High, maybe a couple from, from a Darkmoor Prep, which is the private school connected to the college who are gathered here. They've built a little bonfire. They're drinking. They're smoking. They're listening to rock and roll on the wireless. They're having a grand time. One of those students is Minnie Olson. Would you like to describe Minnie to us, Lauren? Um, Minnie is basically just your, your typical, very popular girl. She does play tennis uh, because it's amazing physical activity and as her father says she needs to keep it um tight so that she can make sure to find a nice boy who will take care of her thank you minnie what are you wearing uh she is wearing her uh, tennis skirt with her what i thought it was gonna have a poodle on it We'll, we'll retract that. She, you only wear poodle skirts at sock hops, and if you, you ever can, were invited to them, you would know that. I think you can wear them anytime you want. But I mean, I think Minnie could do whatever she wants. But fair enough. <sighs> if she's in it, hey, if she's in her tennis whites, out of sight. She is in the woods. She would not want to dirty her poodle skirt. Wow, but her it was very whites, expensive. Understood. Anyway, uh, she is wearing her tennis outfit with her her slightly oversized sweater uh, to keep the chill away because she, of course, doesn't want to get sick because she must have perfect attendance uh, just to make sure that her college application is has perfect attendance on it because she would like to get into Dartmoor College uh, so that she can get her MRS. There you go. Mm -hmm. There's many. Um, another student present is Shelley Silverstein. Zane, if you'd like to describe Shelly to us. Hi. Yeah, Shelly Silverstein is the class treasurer, and um, she is, she's a pleaser. She uh, is a middle child, of course, and she really wants to make sure that everyone's taken care of, everything is taken care of, until she can't stand taking care of other people anymore because they kind of walk all over her, but it's fine. Um, Shelly is cute but not beautiful. She is average height. People don't typically remember her. She has brown hair, glasses, a little cardigan sweater, a high collared white shirt, uh, a plaid skirt, um, white socks with little ruffles on them and little buckle shoes. She is somebody that people rely on but don't quite remember to invite to the party. Wow, I genuinely cannot even picture her. It's like she doesn't even register as a person. <laughs> and Minnie is very beautiful. Thank you. Has she ever taken the classes off? <laughs> oh, it's a really good question. It's a really good question. Damn. Um, several other high school students are here. You know, drinking. Are, are either of you drinking right now? Do you have a beer? Have you accepted a beer? Have you accepted a... I, I have, um, but I do prefer martinis from my father and mother's bar cart. So this is beneath me, but I, I do understand that as a popular girl, I have to associate with the plebeians. There you go. Mm -hmm. Shelly, Shelly's holding it, but not drinking it. Understood. Um... If she, if, do you think Shelly and Minnie are, are next to one another at the moment? M are. Minnie cheats off of Shelly. Um, so she is okay with sitting next to her. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you guys would like to, to just... You, you can, you can, we can sit in these characters for a moment. That's totally fine. So... Oh uh, my gosh, I didn't even know you were there. Hi. Hey, Minnie. Uh, it's good to see you. I've been here for a little while already, but um, 
I'm so sorry. I didn't even see you. <laughs> Who invited you? Um, one of the boys. I think. Oh, I didn't know you talked to boys. I do sometimes. Yeah, I I have to do that for um to make sure that we get the yearbook ready for the end oh, of the year. That's right. Well, just make sure not to talk to too many boys because they'll think you're fast, and then they won't want to marry you. I was really fast. I used to run track, and I was actually up there. I got like maybe fifth place at the relay. Oh, I'm sure you were so fast. I'm sure you impressed all of the boys there by being so fast. I wasn't there to impress the boys. I just wanted to win. Well, good job. And she'll like go to clink beers. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Um, uh, you Have you been to a party like this before? Well, just every weekend. What? What usually happens at parties? Oh, well, you know. And she'll, she'll like, scoot closer and say, is there a name for any of these people? Um, like, a, a girl there? A girl who's there? Or can sure. I just make it? Uh, you can make one up. That's fine. Uh, there are a couple of people, but... Well, she'll she'll point to a boy what? and a girl and... She... What? Oh, you want to point to a boy and a girl? Yeah. Okay, you can point to Ralph. Okay. Who is a class clown. Okay. And you can point to Jesse. Okay. Who is just like, you know, like, like a girl he's hitting on. So the big topic of conversation at these parties is usually Ralph and Jesse. They'll go off and make out in the woods for a little bit, and then they'll start yelling at each other. And it'll get really dramatic for a while, which is super fun to watch. Um, but then they end up just making out again in the woods. And I think that they have done it. That Gone sounds... all the way. Mm -hmm. I know what that means. That sounds really toxic. It is. And you don't want to associate with people like that. Shelly, she says yes. this to you. You're, you're Minnie, uh -huh. Shelly. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> Shelly, I don't know who I am. I would like for you care. to look at this pair, Ralph and Jesse. And I would like for you to make an intuition roll. Now, the way this works, actually, you have a you have kind of an interesting choice here as you look at your sheet. Welcome to the Unforeseen System. I'm going to explain this. What you're going to do whenever I tell you to make a roll is you're going to roll a d20. You can spend power after you roll it to um, re-roll unless you roll a 13. And then it's like, sorry, you roll a 13. That's where. Or actually, you can re-roll. If you roll 13, you can re-roll, but we're still advancing the clock because of fun. Um, but you have two facets next to intuition. Could you read those just so we hear what they are? Adept and dependable. Great. So there are these kind of keyword facets to apply to all the different talents, and I'm just going to explain them. Adept basically means you have advantage. You can always re-roll once without expending power to do so. The other thing you have, though, is dependable, which is that if you don't want to risk it and you don't think this is going to be like a, it's kind of going to be something of the average difficulty, you can just sort of take 10. You can say, you can just, rather than roll and potentially roll low, you can just say, I'll just say it's a 10. For this kind of thing, you suspect uh, that it is more more likely a, you know, it, it's probably not a super hard, difficult thing. But if you go above, you know, the higher you get, the better your result will be. So do you want to roll two dice or do you want to take your dependable 10? I want to roll two dice. All right, so roll two d20s. Uh, one is a 17 and one is a 2, so I guess I take the 17. You will take the 17. With a 17, you can... Basically, you watch as Ralph is, like, kind of, like, like slipping a hand onto Jesse's butt. And she, like, is slapping it away, but, like, then she keeps, like, moving her butt closer to Ralph again. So you do suspect that they have gone all the way. <laughs> and also, Ralph, the way he's, like... Ralph is licking his lips as he's, like, looking at her. Like she's an ice cream sundae. I just think they're too young to have done what they've done. I agree. And they aren't married. It's not very Christian of them. Yeah, and, I mean, they're probably not going to be 
each other's last partner in life. I mean, why waste yourself? So young, you know? Shelly, I didn't know you had such amazing, incredible values. Well, it's more about reducing the complexity of subsequent relationships, but I mean, sh thank you. Th thank you. Thanks, Minnie. You are so welcome, and you use such big words. And off that moment, another high school student is going to join the party. Except this one has not been at Paradise High for a very long time. On the edge of this party, three figures emerge from the woods, having disembarked at Paradise Station, which seemed changed. Um, the Dreadland Express found that the tracks ended. There are supposed to be tracks carrying out of here, but the tracks end. They are gone. They have been uprooted, which means this train could not go anywhere else. So Rollins, Zeke, and Johannes Gerstenkorn have all disembarked and have crept through the woods to the sound of sort of basically Rawlings I think will will sort of hand wave this and say you could tell that whatever gathering was up here didn't sound imminently dangerous it just sounded like you know kids being kids Zeke I would like for you to look at your sheet and I want you to do an intuition roll okay so that is under sense now and I don't right. think you have anything special, so you're just going to roll a d20. But if you decide you don't like it after the fact, you can, you know, you can spend power and re-roll. Okay. I see how this works. Okay. So it's just a d20 roll here, yeah. D20, and then if I don't like what I get, I can use power to re-roll. Yeah. Six. Six. Zeke, something seems weird here, but you don't know what it is. <clears throat> but okay. as, as sort of uh, Rawlings and, and you and uh, your, your other friend, who is this plant creature who is one of the Dreadlords, is sort of walking through. He is sort of walking with you both and saying, Oh, look, there are such interesting revelries, and can you smell the beer? Can't you smell the beer on the air? It is bad beer, but it is beer. And this is worth something, yeah. Can't you smell it? Both of you make a smell taste roll. Let's see if either of you smell the beer on the air. I don't think anyone gets anything special for this, so I think this is just a G20. Twelve. Twelve. Um, nine. Zeke, you don't really smell beer. You just smell, like, you smell smoke. Rawlings, you can definitely smell a, a, a whiff that kind of, you know, cheap beer on mass kind of vibe. Yeah, yes. Uh, um, reminds so, me of um, some of the, the ale houses back home. Does the smell of the fire, like, do I tell that it's bonfire? I think you can tell it's bonfire. And again, that weird sense of, like, something being amiss is happening, but uh, um, as, as you guys get here, uh, Johannes Gerstenkorn will say, yeah, well, I suppose we should go say hello, although I, I, I would imagine that in a place like this, I would sort of be sticking out like a sore thumb, yes. Well, if, I mean, if we are back from where Zeke is from, I see, I then I'd see you get to put your expertise. Were there people who looked like me where, you're, where you are make your home, Zeke? Remind me what he looks like. Uh, he's a plant man. Oh. Like made of wheat. <laughs> No, there are, um, there definitely aren't people who look like you around here. I understand. Here. I can become a bit more. We are in the stone man's domain. He used to be an enemy of mine. Perhaps he used to consider me his enemy. For now, things have changed so much, I'm willing to let bygones be bygones. But I do have a certain amount of power, yeah. And he kind of, like, curls himself in and <laughs> suddenly he just looks like a, a young man. Okay, we can. That's see. deeply unsettling for multiple reasons. We can be saying I am a. Oh, he then he pulls some like leaves out of his ear. 
If you see any leaves sticking out of somewhere they shouldn't be, please let me know. I would appreciate it from both of you, my very, very, very dear friends. And we could, my name is Johannes, so I think that would work. You can tell them I am an exchange student. Yeah. Yeah, sure. And then if you do anything weird, I'll just tell them that's what they do in Europe, I guess. I like this plan. Well, shall we lead on? This is this is your area of expertise, yeah? Me? I'm leading this party now? Well, we're in your home. I mean, you're always the one who... You know where we are, so... Haven't you... Have you ever been here before? Well, yeah, this is... It's the spot where the high school students always party, it's right? It's Sleepy Lake. And Zeke, you do have a weird sensation that as you look on Sleepy Lake and this bonfire, this feels very similar to the last time you were at Sleepy Lake. It was a very, very long time ago. We're talking about 157 episodes where it doesn't seem like it should be this normal anymore. Where last time you were here um, there was Greg doing magic tricks. There was Alice wearing a ball gown. That was Laura's character. Alice, I just wish you not your character from Strange Lord, yeah. Um, Daniel was the, the martial arts student. Will was a football player. Ellen was a girl who uh, really wanted some drugs from you. Yeah. And, uh, there was a lot going on that night. And you remember that Daniel went into the water and he never came out. Yeah, that was really messed up. It was a very messed up night. So yeah, you have a weird feeling of perhaps deja vu at this spot. Yeah, just be really careful and, and don't don't go in the water. Mm. Seems quite reasonable. Well, that's just very good. really wish we'd stop by my. Just wish I had some stuff on me. What kind of stuff do you wish you had on you? Toiletries. <laughs> Things that uh, make the world go round. Hmm. Go uh, gravity. Capitalist venture type stuff. I see. Well. Anyway. Please lead on. Sure, I, I guess. Just, like, don't... Honestly, you both are kind of weird, so just try not to say too much. Oh, we will be very normal, too. We will not embarrass you in front of your school chums. Yeah, Let's also. not call them chumps. That's, they that's don't, we don't a call bit them much. Chums? What's the term? That is, wouldn't that, that should be something they would say in Europe, right? Your colleagues? Customers. Your customers? Wait, customer is... But you are not a business. You're a fellow high school student, yeah? Hmm. Hmm. I feel like it. All right, let's just go. Okay. Look, here are two ladies. They are sitting on the edges of things. Maybe we should introduce ourselves to them. Yes, Minnie? Would Minnie know about Zeke or Oksana or any of the other? That? Before I engage. Before you engage, I will tell you. Mm, you're you're asking this question not when I was going to do it. Let me think on this for a moment. Sorry. Um. No, 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 it's fine. I suppose if they are walking over to you, it is a reasonable question. Um, Minnie. Mm -hmm. Make, roll a d13. Here we go. Every, her face, every time I ask her to do it, is so good. She's so I'm upset. I'm always sad and upset. Roll a 13? Oh, yeah. Okay. We'll roll it again. If we can horror surge, that would be delightful. What a great way to welcome ourselves back. Did you do it? Dude. I rolled on my little tower, too. Wow. Welcome. Welcome back to paradise, baby. <sighs> we had a taste of paradise. Meanwhile, just Dan is here like, not fucking Rawlings, man. Anyone but Rawlings. <laughs> I can run. All right. I hate that. <laughs> so, as Johannes Gersten Korn, 
Zeke Thomas and, and uh, S.A. Rawlings step out of the shadows and begin to approach Midian and Shelley. This, this, this music is good for a fight, but it's a little too, uh, I want something a little more foreboding right now. Okay. Minnie, you look at them and you see Zeke. And you recognize her. But you Zeke. know that she is dead. Oh shit, okay. And Minnie, the world seems to slow down around you, and this you have this horrible sinking feeling in your stomach. I'd like for you to make an intuition roll. Okay. You have you are an ace at this. So that means if you roll a two, three, four, or five, you can re-roll it for free, and that is not one time. You can keep rolling until you are above those numbers. In addition, if you roll a one, you only have to spend one power to re-roll instead of two. That's the thing I should mention. If you ever roll a nat one, you have to spend two power to re-roll that, not just one. Okay. So, roll your d20. A 15. With a 15, <clears throat> you have a sense of uncanny, something is wrong, but and you, you are feeling tremendous danger. But the danger doesn't seem to be Zeke. She is a harbinger of it. She's dead, but she's here. She's walking with two very weirdly dressed men. One looks like a fancy old-fashioned guy, um, and he's got bottles all over his pockets. Um, and the other is, I have to imagine that Johannes Gerstenkorn is wearing like shorts and a polo shirt that is like tucked in, and he has like a sweater tied around it, you know? Um, that's what one of cousins who came up from Germany. That's how he, that's what he was like when he picked both of them. Anyway, uh, so like, the, he, with these two very strange men, but you have a, an overwhelming sense of, of something being off, and all you can think at this moment is you're being punished for your sins. You shouldn't be coming to parties like this. You shouldn't have done... Technically, you didn't break any rules with that thing you did to that boy, but, you know, you still shouldn't, you're like, I still shouldn't have done that. Okay, so so she won't say Zeke. Sorry, didn't okay. know you weren't finished there. Yeah. Um, but she will grab Shelly's hand and say, you know, one of the most important parts of being a lady is knowing when you should exit a party. And I am going to go. I shouldn't have come here in the first place. And if you want my advice, I don't think you should be here either. What and she'll mean? get up to leave. Sorry? Wait, why are you why are you leaving so quickly? She'll she'll uh look over at Zeke and say <laughs> just there 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 are just people here that I, I don't I don't want to be around, and she'll try to walk away. Okay. Where's Zeke? Not... Mini is. Um, Zeke. Why don't you also roll me a d thirteen? All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. You Game remember? Close. Yes. You, it's weird. Mini is in. You do remember Mini. You can't. You cannot. I'll phrase like this. You cannot recall ever thinking of Minnie before in your entire life, but you recognize her. Must have skimmed off her in Homac or something. Sure. Um, Shelly would have looked over when Minnie looked at them as well. Yeah. So is there- You can roll your D13, that's fine. That's who knows who, just all the ops. All 13's rolling. Dan, do you feel left out? You I do, know it'll come back around to me. You do not. You do not recognize her. However, it is at this moment that as Minnie is standing, kind of suggesting you should go, as Zeke and Rawlings and Johannes are sort of getting into the middle, um, you guys hear a voice say, it is Jessie, and she is saying, Ralph, knock it off! And she's like slapping a hand away. Oh, but Ralph is standing about ten feet away from her. 
And he's being like, hey, knock what off, baby? Maybe we'll knock one off together later, huh? And someone screams. You're not sure who. They're looking over at Jesse. Um, all three of or all four of you. Now right? this feels familiar. All four of you, please give me a look roll. Let's just sight. see. Oh, sight. Sorry. Haha. <laughs> yep. Changed all the things. Sight is under your senses. Seven. Sight. Seven. Sight. All right, Rawlings, Seven. you're just look. You're kind of you're. You haven't even gotten your, your, your bearings here yet. And if you have any facets next to or next to it, just let me know. Uh, Rawlings, if you want oh. to, you can spend a power to reroll if you don't like that nope. thing. So well, I, I have dependable, but I rolled a fourteen. So understood. So de- if you have dependable, you don't roll. You just say I'm going to de- be dependable and have a ten. That's like, that, I that didn't one. know that until after I rolled. Yeah. Can I use my roll? Okay. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely use your. If you rolled, use your roll. Okay, uh, but I have to say it beforehand. You say it before. You just forgot. Got it. Uh, Shelly, how did you do? Ten. Mini, how'd you do? So I got a three and a two. So okay. I re-rolled twice, and then I got a fourteen. Perfect. Okay. So. Zeke, uh, Shelly, you can tell that there are some more figures moving in here, but Minnie and Zeke both look at Jesse, and you can see that there is a hand sticking out of the trees, grabbing her ass. But the hand has no skin on it. Huh. And, like, or just some rotting, fl- it's like some skeletal sort of thing, and Soon you two can tell there is some animate, animate like, skeleton emerging from the trees. And you suspect there's, it is not alone, because suddenly students everywhere are freaking out. Yep, now this feels really fucking familiar. Um, can I suggest we all get the hell out of here? Johannes Gersenkorn says, Oh, look, festivities have already begun. How interesting. Um, so... Yeah, the kind of festivities where we all die. Can we get the fuck out of here? Let's, let's depart. Perfect. In that case, um, we are going to begin our very first set piece, which is kind of what we call initiative in these in these games. Um, because this is a... Uh, because this is going to be kind of a, a, a sort of more physical running thing, I think that we'll probably literally, since since most people are running away, right? That's what everyone's kind of vibe is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is anyone here, if you look at your um, movement, really all your physicals, if you look at your movement, does anything, does anyone have anything other than AVG next to movement? No. Does anyone have sub- imp or elt. I, I have imp. You have imp. Yeah. That means you are in, you have impressive physicality. Congratulations. Oh, it's all of the tennis. It's the tennis, it is. So that means you actually go first in this initiative. Oh. Or they kind of end the set piece. So you're, it's going to get to go you, then the other three of you go, and then any monsters. That's how this is going to go. We we basically organize it by your sort of your, your, your level. Your, I'm, uh, your I'm also ace at it. I don't know if that... That all that matters for order is your is your rating. So, Minnie, what are you going to do? You see skeletons are coming out. Are you going to simply run on your own? Are you going to are you mm-hmm. going to uh, are you going to try to get anyone else out? Are you going to try to fight? I mean, what what do you want to do? Sneak? What's your, what's your plan here? Uh, she will turn to Shelley and say, "A lady always knows how to make a graceful exit, right?" And she'll turn. And oh, and she'll say, follow me if you want. And she'll run. Okay. Um, so go ahead and do a move roll. Okay. So what you are basically doing, this is your spotlight moment. So basically in a set piece, we put the spotlight on each of you kind of in sequence until we're no longer in a sort of everything happening all at once time. Okay, so I w- rolled a one, so I expend one power. You can only, yeah, if you have ace in move, you only have to spend one power to re-roll it. Very good. Okay. Twelve. All right, so Mini, yes, you begin running. You begin just getting the heck out of here, rushing away. Um, I'm going to have Shelly go next because you were t- we'll kind of go Mini, Shelly, Zeke, Rawlings. That'll sort of be the order of, of all you guys. Shelly, what are you doing? 
Uh, Shelly is also going to run. You're just going to run right after Minnie. All right. Do you have any any Do you have any uh, keywords for this facet, or keywords no. for this talent? Okay. Make your roll. Uh, it is a twelve. A twelve. So you're actually going to run about as fast as Minnie. What you two are certainly doing is kind of getting away from the pandemonium here as these skeletons are arriving and and just groping everyone. And it's it's kind of just like their skeletal hands kind of, you know, digging into flesh. You probably in the firelight see some spurts of blood here or there as skeletal hands are kind of, you know, breaking into into skin. Um, Zeke, mm-hmm. what is your plan? I'm fucking booking it. All right. Give me a movement roll as well. It's a d20. Maybe roll. Okay, 15. A 15. Minnie and Shelly, the two of you begin to run. You are overtaken by Zeke, who just runs past, like, oh my god. Uh, Rawlings, in this spotlight moment, what would you like to do? I'm also going to, I'm going to run. I'm going to try following Zeke. I love it. All right. 15. A 15 as well. Yes, so basically, uh, I guess I have to roll for our. Um, gonna roll for this dreadlord here as well oh my god i wish this was a multiple of 13 night i would love wow. to pop this up a little so but basically um ah because it's a 13 though when the bat when the when the evil monsters get 13 something sort of interesting happens so um as you two run off rawlings and zeke you're vaguely aware of like well, what you don't want to you, you don't want to, you want to miss the party? <clears throat> oh dear! Oh, what what have we have we committed some kind of uh, offense to people? What is what is going on? I think the party is just getting started. Um, but you lose sight of him as he is as he is run. Like you don't you don't know where he is. You two sort of run. The only there's maybe a few other students kind of running down the general path. But at this point, just for the sake of convenience and how it's going, the four of you are now all moving down the same path. The first wave of this horror surge is done. But because we're back in paradise and this is how this works, um, I will roll for... I will roll, however, for some skeletons. I roll a one, however, so the skeletons who were there, none of them are... Not a one of them (laughs) is following me. Those four skeletons are seen. All right, the four of you sprint forward and find yourselves kind of like on sort of one of like the weird little dirt roads kind of where there's mist in the distance. You can probably see one or two of the the, the graveyards, but you've kind of emerged from the forest. Uh, The lake, you know where the lake is, but right now you, you cannot see the lake. So the four of you get to there. Minnie, what do you want to do at this point? Um, so we're all, like, together, right? I would say that, like, honestly, Rawlings and, and Zeke are even a bit ahead of you, but kind of, like, they've just kind of, like, they've kind of rushed past, which past them are just sort of stopping. You're kind of here at the edge of, like, the woods. Um, we're, like, they, we'll, we'll even say Rawlings and Zeke just kind of instinctively didn't just, like, run out into a clearing, you know, they're kind of taking their bearings. So if you sort of stop behind them, what would you like to do? Minnie will uh, say, Zeke, what are you doing here, you creature from hell? You're supposed to be dead. Yeah, nice to see you too, Winnie. Minnie. All right. Yeah, you would know that if you ever tried to make any friends. Listen, I've got friends. Can we just deal with the fact that we need to get the hell away from whatever these freaking things are? Oh, the two gentlemen that you brought that are presumably dead as well? He's not dead. He's just European. I don't think this is the time to be having a interpersonal conflict. And in fact, yes, it's we, not. We need like, to get out of here. Yeah, Lauren, what do you want to do? What is? What do you want for your spotlight here? Although, you know what? Actually, I'm going to take it back. I'm going to say, based on what you've just done, for your spotlight, I think that you are manipul. You're just being sort of manipulative and. and yeah. Sort of well, she's trying to get information from absolutely Z because she so, knows she ran from the trouble. Because so. of that, go ahead and do a manipulation roll. You are adept at this. So you get to roll. Basically, you roll it. You can you re- re-roll once for free. Is the idea. Nope. Uh, so something interesting happened. I got two ones. Two ones. Okay. You may spend two to re-roll that. 
or you can just say this was a this was a wasted turn and it's fine and it was it was still funny. I will spend two to re-roll. Okay. So you don't get to re-roll at advantage every time. It's just that first re-roll was free. Now you're paying. Wait, don't I get? But if I roll a one, don't I only have to spend one then? If that I'm is only if rolling you have one ace. Die? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So basically, you rolled a one. You got to re-roll it for free. You had to re-roll another one. You had to spend two. So now you're rolling. Fair it. enough. Sixteen. Sixteen. So Zeke, Minnie is being. I don't think you're going to be necessarily compelled, but like. The, the bigger takeaway of this is that Minnie knows that you were dead. So, like, something is going on. Like, something is weird here that, like, yeah. like, like she, this person is aware that you your death must have been reported. And and now she's blaming you for, for this. And I'm actually going to say, Zeke, because of that, you're actually going to be compelled to... You're, you're not compelled... Like, you're, you're, you're not... Your feelings aren't hurt or anything. You're taking no damage. But you have to grapple with the possibility that you brought these skeletons here. That is it. She is, she has planted the idea that that is, that is something that you could have done. Um, so that is something you need to address, not necessarily on this spotlight. Uh, Shelly, okay. uh, we'll have you go next in the spotlight as Zeke is thinking over this. What would you like to do with this spotlight moment? Um, just look and, and listen for the next direction we need to go. I'll tell you what Shelly, because you have a cool, um, you actually have a pretty cool ability called multitasker, don't you? Yes. So I'm going to recommend, do. I mean, actually, I don't want to tell you what to do for your power, but um, if you wanted to, you could, you could do a, you could spend two power to do a look and listen, and based on what you hear or see, you could spend two more power and do something else on top of that. Okay. But you so, could you could start with only one of them if you wanted to, and kind of. So I could start with like a with like a look first, or a why don't you start with a sight? Yes, and I know I'm calling them look and listen because that's what they've been. But for this, I've been hearing and sight because I'm an idiot and I change it every five times. So I'm just stupid. Sight is a ten. Sight is a ten. All right, so so Shelly, <laughs> you look around, and there are still some shadowy spots and little pockets of mist, and the woods that you're kind of still within. There's a lot of shadows. You don't see anything here, but you 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 know you're not seeing everything. You think it's entirely possible that there could suddenly be dangers coming up behind you or lurking in the shadows. Mm -hmm. uh, she would also like to do a listen. Perfect. Okay, so go ahead and spend your two power. That is a 19, baby. Hey, all right. Yeah. However, with a 19, Shelly. You kind of almost close your eyes and just listen for a moment as Minnie is just yelling at Zeke, who's kind of half, and, and Rawlings is behind you saying, like, this is not important right now. You're listening. And Shelly, you hear an eerie and unmistakable rattling of bones. You are certain that there are more skeletons moving through this forest, and you can tell that they are sort of kind of just to your right about, you think maybe 30 or 40 feet through the trees, just hiding in the shadows, silently coming towards you, but you can hear like bony kind of scraping in this unnatural way. Can Shelly speak at this time? You can. There's more coming, we need to go. And Shelly, if you want to, you can spend two power and just run. Let's fucking run. All right. You spend two more power. Give me a movement. I like this. Multitasker. <laughs> yeah, multitasker's nice. It's a five. A five. So you get, you do, however, get a, and you're, you are running away from what you just heard were skeletons. Correct. You're kind of m moving away. Um, Zeke. So Minnie just said this. You're kind of like, ooh, is this my fault? Shelly started, like, running, but she's kind of, like, tripping over some, you know, kind of barely staying on her feet and moving through. What would you like to do, Zeke? Um, so I'm, I'm grappling with the idea that I could have brought them back. Listen, Mouseketeer, how, how long has it been? since I died. What was said? How do you even... 
who told you I died? Like, how how is that a thing? Well, I'm very adept at gossip and the happenings of our high school, so... Oh, the... okay, yeah, yeah. How many days has it been? How many days has it been? Or months? Or years? You're not sure. You just know Zeke's dead. I don't know. It wasn't a big event in my life. I just know that you died. How do you, What was the story about me dying? Do I know? Uh, she, or was it just, like, gossip? She and Alice died because Alice was hooking up with some, like, old man. And they got killed. Or not you old man, Alice but, like, you know, like, like grown man. You and Alice died because Alice was hooking up with some guy who was way too old for her and she was just doing something that she shouldn't have been doing and you got caught up. That was the story. Okay, I, I need to think about this, but can we fucking go? So didn't you bring oh. Yeah, so Zeke, you you have sort of what you did what you've done here is you've sort of thought about this. So turn. Okay. I think you should use you're actually pretty good at this. I think you should use an analysis rule. Okay. To try and understand what the hell to is going on. To try to understand what is going on. So you are adept and effective at this. Effective, this is the first time we've had an effective keyword. So the way effective works is that if you can roll a 12 or higher, whether or not you succeed at what you're trying to do, you get some extra benefit. Okay. Um, so Zeke, since you're adept, roll 2d20. You'll use the higher roll. And if it's over okay. 12, you'll get another benefit. Ooh, 18. 18, yes. 10 and an 18. Um, so basically you basically you you can sort of like you are confident that you're not gonna be like drawing like a conclusion that will lead you to destruction, you know, the way I often like to do if people, you know, fail a roll. Like yeah. give them a bad idea. You you're pretty sure it's not gonna be a bad idea. But with an 18, you you basically believe that because you remember dying, and you know that you were then resurrected. So based on what Minnie is saying, it sounds like you and Alice dying became another one of those stories that everyone tells in Paradise. It's another one of those legendary kind of, you know, like, urban legends about, like, what happened to this student, that student. Um, but Zeke, you almost have this weird sensation that maybe you and Minnie don't even know each other. You're just, you just know who she is because she sort of knows who you are. You you have a feeling that perhaps whatever, the, the fact that she knows you doesn't mean that she knew you. And the fact that you know her doesn't mean you knew her. That maybe the, maybe the story, the, the rumor of what occurred is, is a big enough deal. Um, but in any case, as you sort of come to this odd realization, I'll also say that based on kind of her earlier thing, you you doubt, however, that the skeletons are your fault. So we'll we'll sort of remove that looming thing okay. over your head. That, you're, like, that's, you're like you're like whatever's yeah, going on, the skeletons aren't my fault. It's that it's that it's that's just paradise. That's just welcome home. Yeah. Yeah. More 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 urban legends. Now people are going to be talking about how. Ralph was hooking up with it. Some in the future, people talk about how Ralph was hooking up with Jesse, and she kept saying, "Stop squeezing me," that it was a skeleton. You know that that's what the story will become. Yeah, she got a different kind of boner. <sighs> exactly. Now, Zeke, if you wanted to, you could spend a couple power now to take another. You could, but you you only get to do this once during a spotlight. So, if you wanted to, you could spend some power and and do something else right now, but okay. you don't have to because Minnie, you Minnie is still sort of talking to you. Se Shelly has begun to run. Um, do you just want oh, to I see here. Take an additional roll during your spotlight. Yeah. Power ah! Toby. Yeah. Power costs two. Yeah. So you could do that, or you could just let it ride. Nah, I'm going to go ahead and do it, because I'm going to fucking run. Okay, so give me another movement. Uh, uh, wait, hold on. Do we, we know where the sounds of the skeletons are coming from? Shelly, all you know is the way Shelly is, you know what Shelly is running away from. Okay, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to run in that fucking direction. Okay. So go and ahead I'm just and... going to say, clearly rumors of my demise are greatly exaggerated. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Oops, and I'm going to keep it that way. All right. All right, so roll your d20. All right, that's a 10. A 10. So you you kind of, you, you sort of, you, you can get sort of to where 
Shelly kind of got this head start. You can kind of get to where Shelly is, but you're running away. Minnie's just kind of standing there. Rawlings, what do you want to do? I'm just, I'm going to just keep running. I'll follow, uh, I'll follow Zeke. Follow them. Okay, cool. Um, so, go ahead, make your roll. That's a two. Okay. I will, in fact, re-roll that. Uh, wait, what, dependable? Dependable means oh, instead of rolling, yeah, yeah, you yeah. just guarantee a ten. Oh, I should have done that. Whatever. I'll spend two power to re-roll. Sounds good. 19. Okay. Yeah, Rawlings, you're kind of like, you're like, okay, don't die, don't die. Now is not the time to die. Wonderful. Uh, Lauren, I'm just going to mention something real quick. Okay. Um, In this game, during a set piece sequence like this, you can actually buy yourself another spotlight. I saw that, and I was thinking of using that to run. Would you like to do that right now? How many? Five. Okay. It's costly. Uh, yeah. All right. Go ahead and make your movement roll. Remember, you get to re-roll all the low ones kind of for free. Fourteen. Fourteen. So you also kind of, you're, so basically... Rawlings is kind of, you know, ahead moving the most quick, but based on just the order, all of you are running away. And Minnie, as you glance back, well, I guess I technically have to roll. Not a moment too soon, because you're running back and you see, like, a skeleton hand kind of, like, leeching out from where you were just standing, and then a couple more look out. And they begin coming after you, but they're moving very slowly. So all of you, even with a five, they only rolled a three, so all of you managed to sort of get away from them. However, so basically the first set piece you ran, you chatted, the second part you chatted, you ran some more. However, I need Zane. Actually, no, Dan hasn't had a chance yet because he didn't have any memory. Uh, Dan, my darling, roll a d13. Yeah, Dan, four. Four? Let's see, four is. Oh, oh my God, we've never done this. We've never done this. I love this. All right, so. Rawlings, you are in the lead. So you will see this first, even though we'll then sort of, we're gonna have you guys all basically catch up together here for a moment. Rawlings, you sort of like run like along the tree line, you sort of, you sort of see some mist up ahead. You kind of have to skirt. You can hear footsteps behind you. You're pretty sure they're all sort of corporeal footsteps and not, you know, skeletal footsteps. You kind of glance back. It's just a bunch of children, basically. Um, but you then make it out of the trees and then once again sort of pause on the edge of the trees. Ahead of you is a strange sort of... It looks honestly not dissimilar to something that you might find... In Merkshire, it is a kind of Victorian-style mansion, but it looks very dilapidated. There is a sign on sort of like a wooden painted sign. Um, it is not in great condition. I'm going to have you, you, this is not a, you don't have to expend your action here, but give me a look roll. This is kind of like a reflexive just to see if you can make it out from a quick glance, or a sight roll. Seven seven you can't you can't it's something house and you see some like home for so like it it you get a sense that this is an institutional kind of place <laughs> um but in the mean in the meantime you've sort of seen this and then sort of like Minnie and zeke and shelly all kind of stumble up behind you and all pause Minnie, there are skeletons coming up behind you but you've probably lost them there is this large house ahead, but otherwise there is nothing but, like, an open road curving through the mist ring with kind of the mist creeping about. No cover, nowhere to hide, going off in that direction. Or you could go back into the woods. Or there is this house ahead. What do you do? He... will... Can I make an intuition roll? I think an intuition roll is a great thing to roll right now. Okay. And you are ace at that. Aces, baby. 
Ah, seven. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah, when your ace suddenly it's like like you want two, three, four, five, but six and yeah. seven, it's like ah, fuck you. Um, I'll, I'll keep it though. Mini, you're like great, a house, a place we can hide. Okay. I think we should barricade ourselves in here, and she'll go toward the house. All right. Um, you can oh, no. since if, so basically what what this means is you've kind of used your action to like suss it out. So you are now just walking to the house at like a normal rate. You're not like running fat. You're not trying to like get in there ahead. Yeah. Of I mean, it, is it possible for her to like be aware of what's going like like looking? You've you've rolled your intuition. That's been okay. sort of your thing. So oh, okay. You're able That's to all. Kind of get in. Yeah. Um. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. I don't I trust you. That. Okay. Uh, Shelly, what would you like to do? Minnie, Minnie sort of kind of like got a vibe of this and kind of crept out, took a look, and was like, come on, let's hide. Let's barricade ourselves in here. What are you going to do? Um, Minnie will cautiously go with, or I'm sorry, Shelly will cautiously go with Minnie. Okay. Um, do you want to take an action? This is your spotlight moment. Anything you want yeah. to do um, as you're doing that. You, if you wanted to, you could just okay. run and you'll beat her there and you can be the first in the house and, you know, do whatever. Or you can, you know, do a, do a perception thing or think about, you know, anything you want. I did, did want to listen for danger again. Let's do it. You So basically, while Minnie is kind of feeling the vibe and doing this, you can you can do another listen. So yeah, you roll two dice. Oh, two dice. Did you hear it? Because you're adept. So one is a 15 and one is a three. Great. Well, with a 15, you can hear there are skeletons behind you, but from the house itself, you hear nothing but, like, the sort of natural creaking in the wind. Um, does anybody have any talent facets in sight, by the way, from this group? None of you may do. I do not. Understood. Perfect. Oh, All wait, right. no, I do. I have dependable. Oh, you have dependable. Then Zeke, I will say here at the top of your turn, yeah. You look at the sign, kind of for free, and you 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 may have heard of this place as well. Actually, roll a d13. Let's see if you've heard of it. Oh gosh! Even All better. right, here we go. Even better. No, live. Roll a 13. Stop. Oh, yeah. Well, wait, roll it again. It might not be another horror surge. Oh my god! It would be awesome if you do because this this a horror surge here would be bad news bears, but cool news bears for me no it's three. Oh my god what cool news bears oh my god bad news bears and cool news bears great um great 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 try to collect it up get seven happy happy do happy new arc everyone you're welcome um zeke we're back baby with a 13 you have heard of this place yeah it's a place called sulk house no oh. It was a home for wayward children. And yeah. with a 13, Zeke, Zeke is someone who is pretty darn, you know, like Zeke is, Zeke is pretty level-headed. I mean, I know you've seen some horrible things here and there, but yeah. for the most part, Zeke is pretty whatever. But I'm going to say because of that 13, one of the sort of local horror stories that people would talk about the only one that really, really got to you was Sulk House and some of the punishments that apparently happened in the basement. It was very bothersome. Minnie, I don't think we should be going in there. That's not a good place. Well, what other choice do we have, Zeke? We run. So Zeke, because you're doing this, I'm gonna say that yeah. what what you're doing is oh, but you're very good at this. This is gonna be a manipulation role. A. This is gonna be a convince them to like get the fuck out of here. Like we don't want to go there. So you get to roll two dice, and you have effective. So if you're over a twelve at manipulation, they're not going to be able. Like they won't. They they won't. They won't realize that you're sort of like trying. You know, they'll. I mean, in this case, it's a less thing because like who cares if they know you're manipulating them? But they're not. They will. They'll have no sense that you're kind of like using any sort of deceptive reasoning to get them to stop. You're just, however you do it works fine. Okay. So roll your two dice. 10 and 15. 10 and 15. I will say this, Minnie and Shelly, Zeke, 
you you have started making your way you you haven't even walked up to you haven't like stepped onto the house yet stepped up like onto the porch but Zeke says we shouldn't go in there and both of you you are not compelled to listen there's no whatever but both of you feel that this place is pro you feel danger does she look dead Zeke no okay what do you mean? What? This is Salt House, you guys. We need to get fucking going. It's, that's enough for me. I, I Yes, let's go. It, it, Minnie will turn to Shelly and say, Well, it looks like she's escaped death once, so maybe she's right. And she'll follow Zeke. Okay. Shelly? Shelly follows Zeke. All right. Rawlings, what do you do? Bless you. Uh, after I sneeze, I uh, run in whichever direction Zeke thinks we should go. Understood. Well, that's interesting. So all the, Zeke has basically used her spotlight here to tell yeah. everyone to not go in that house. No one's running. All you've all you've basically done is kept Minnie and Shelly from going further. You guys are all just kind of like in that case, okay. In that case, yeah, kind of like based on the way that the based on the way that the skeletons have been approaching us and the way that I know like these things tend to play out. Can I, like, analyze what the best way to run might be? Absolutely. Do an analyze roll. An analysis, that is. You have a couple things in this. Oh, and you know what? I sh all those things should be... Well, because my, my first pass, they should, this doesn't apply to this right now, but they should all be impressive, right? Um, your analysis... All my mental fat, all my mental talent. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't make those impressive. Yes, they absolutely are. Uh, I but forgot. I, to, I, to... I forgot to enter them as impressive. Yes, I'm doing that right now. I just totally skipped it. You, you, you're the only person here who has an elite in anything. Okay. Which is down in your knowledges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, see, I see. Yeah. Um. Okay. So go ahead and do that. And you know what? I am even going to say that not only so 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 you did your first roll. What was your first dice? I'll do my first roll. Okay, first roll. 17. You get a free re-roll. Because you're adept. 12. Okay. So you'll keep the 17. Because of your knowledge of lore, and because of Zeke saying this place is haunted and stuff, I'm, I'm not going to give you dread on this, but we'll say lore. You can re-roll two more times for free. So your knowledges, if they apply, are very useful for the record. Yeah. So always uh, ask me if you can apply your knowledge. No. One and 17, so yeah. 17 it is. Very good. But a 17 is pretty good. Okay, Rawlings. So the unfortunate thing is, this is definitely the most defensible place. Yeah. However, in your expert analysis, the best thing to do would be to open the door to this house and then hide back in like the woods a little bit down from where you were to just see if the skeletons find you. Okay. So uh, listen, we, 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 what we need to do, I've been, I've been through these before and I can tell you the best thing we want to do right now is to trick the skeletons. They're not completely mindless. They're operating under some base analysis. I don't know exactly, but let's open, open that door. Mini, Mini is it? Yes. Open the door, leave the door open. It's going to look like we went in there and then we're going to go and hide back where we were. Why don't you open the door? Fine. Okay. We were close. I'll go. I'll go open the door, and then I will. So go. we'll actually. We we will. You said this to Minnie. That was your your thing. Was the analysis. So we're gonna go back. Minnie, you're back in the spotlight. Skeleton. Oh, hold on. Okay. Minnie, right now Rawlings has given you guys your best bet. Skeletons are coming for you. So right now your goal is trick the skeletons. So people need to. You either need to hide, you need, but somebody needs to get that door open. But that's where we are. So, Minnie, what do you want to do? Rawlings is saying somebody go open the door. Well, if, if he said, like, if we did, we have that exchange where he said, "Well, you're closer." Um, or he, did that? I'm gonna say that didn't happen since you probably got back by the time you figured stuff out. So somebody's gonna have to. Ellie will go open the door. I don't know if that's. Shelly can't. Okay, well, well, so yeah, so 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 if Shelly says she'll do it, Minnie, why don't you give me a sneak? Why don't you give me a hide roll to try to be hidden? Eight. Eight. Okay. 
Shelly. If you want to go open the door and then hide, I'd let you do that as a movement. Your hiding won't be amazing, but you'll be able to do both of those without spending power. Otherwise, you could you you could you could do a movement to run to the door, close it, run back, and then do a sneak roll by spending two more power. Um, I'll do it as the... Wait, do I have to decide ahead of time? based, Or can I check, test my first roll first? Well, you're not going to roll if you're... I'm doing a movement. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and do a movement. Sure. Either way, you start with a movement. Good point. Got it. The 14. All right. So, Shelly, you rush up to the to the door, up the steps. They creak with every step. Minnie has kind of gone off sort of to where Rollins is pointing. You put your hand on the door. Roll a d13. Yes. Oh, it, it fell on the crack, so I have to do it again. Reroll it. 11, baby. Within 11. That's very good. Within 11, it's not locked or anything where you got to force it. You just open it, and you push it open, and the door creaks so loud. Rawlings, you're probably like, that's what we want. You are. The door is very loudly creaking. Okay, Shelly. You have opened the door. You, you can kind of already, you can sort of hop off and run over to them. If you want to spend two power, you can sneak back which will further trick the zombies that you're, or the, the skeletons that you're not in there. Or you can just run back and you're kind of, you probably won't wind up all that hidden, but you'll be back in the trees and maybe they won't realize. I'll just, I'll just run back. Okay, cool. So you kind of, I don't have like power. But... So basically you and Minnie are just kind of like at the tree line, just like peeking out, like, uh, you know, kind of whatever. Zeke, what would you like to do? Okay, so they're hiding in the tree line, just like peeking around. Yeah. Can I look for somewhere to hide? Yeah, why don't you do a sneak roll? All right. You're, this, is kind of, this is kind of your, your area. Thing. I'm effective on sneak. You're effective on sneak and you're adept, so you roll 2d20 as you use, use your higher one. Thank God. Come on. All right, a 16. Got a 16 and an 11. 16. So Zeke basically just kind of like seeing, seeing Shelly doing that, Zeke's like, okay, and Zeke kind of goes deeper into the forest, kind of looking around carefully, finding a good spot. Rawlings? I will try, I'll try and hide with uh, Zeke. Perfect. Just give me a sneak as well. I'm going to spend one to reroll. Makes sense. Twelve. So you kind of, especially since you're following Zeke, you manage to get here. So all of you are here, just looking, peering out from hiding places. Um, I think that Shelly and Minnie, do either of you have uh, intuition? Any, any yes. facets in intuition? Oh, uh, yes, I have adept and dependable. Then, then Shelly, I think you do have kind of a sense of, because, like, you just kind of ran and dove where Minnie was, and you look around and you can't see Zeke or Rawlings. You probably do have a sense. Minnie, what about you? I'm ace at intuition. Yeah, I think both of you have a sense as you're kind of looking back of, like, okay, so we are not as well hidden as those two because we can't see them. But meanwhile... all look as skeletons begin stepping out of the tree line just about like 15 20 feet away from you there are five of them undead scraps of clothing maybe pieces of flesh on them perhaps some hair but they're all just sort of stalking Right now? Mm -hmm. 
that was their spotlight. That was the camera was on them as a bunch of skeletons come out, look around, and then they go up. So now it's back to Minnie. Okay, um... Can I try... Uh, I'm trying to... I do, I do want to try to, like, make myself less... It's a sneak. It's basically the stealth. Yeah. For sure. I, I was thinking maybe are you something. Are you going to go further as well, or you want to stay where you are? It's the same role. It's basically what are you attempting to do? Are you just trying to? I'm going to stay where I am because I don't want to do any, like, big movement. Understood. Okay. Uh, that's a nine. Okay. You can spend one power to re-roll it if you want. Oh, God. You don't have to. I know you're I... getting low, though. I'll leave it. Okay. I'll see what happens. Shelly. You see Minnie just kind of like... I mean, in fairness, and, and it's because you said it, I believe that Lauren described her as tight and, and, mm -hmm. and disturbingly said, my father wants me to keep it tight. So, so Minnie is, is moving her tight little body just like behind a tree branch, you know. Fortunately, okay. it's not like she's wearing tennis whites that are like just reflecting in the moonlight or anything. Awake, she is. To be fair, she would have been wearing a white blouse with her poodle skirt anyway, if she was wearing that. So, so it dead no matter helped. what. Yeah, you're right. So Shelly, she she seems to just be like, I'm just gonna stay here. Don't don't do this. But you know that Zeke and Rawlings found a better hiding place. So do you want to move away? Do you want to stay here, or do you just want to proceed and try to? Um. What do you want to do? I think that. Uh, so. I th I'd like to use her creativity mm -hmm. and I feel like the plaid skirt will create more camouflage over the both of them that she has. So you want to disguise yourselves with your plaid yeah. skirt. Oh. Understood. I, I assume that we're saying it's like a greenish plaid. It's like a green based check. Yeah. So that's why yes. it would maybe look like leaves. Okay. Go ahead and make a creativity roll. Do you have any benefits to that? I have an ace. I believe we said that's because of uh, when we were creating your character. I think we said you'd have creativity because uh, both for cheerleading, you would like, you know, you guys have to like learn sort of the, the performance. It's like not only exercise, but also performance. And also for, you know, as a school treasurer, I'm sure you have to make a lot of signs. Mm -hmm. So this is why you're a bit crafty. Uh, this is a 16. A 16. So Shelly, and we'll, we're kind of, we're going to throw in that you're doing it quietly. You take off your skirt. Yeah. Yay! Nice. <laughs> All right. Minus one. It's been a while because... since one took the clock back. So Skelly take, takes off her skirt. And now it's tennis whites and white cotton panties just blinding in the moonlight, but a skirt held up to protect the girls. Um, all right. But you think you are, you certainly think you are better. You certainly think you are better defended. defended. However, since you're still wearing your glasses, no one thinks it's hot yet. Okay. Um, <laughs> Zeke. You have hidden. Do you have anything in sight, Zeke? Uh, I have dependable sight. Okay, cool. So I am going to say that you certainly watch Shelly take off her skirt and put it up. Just, like, hide it up, and you're like, I guess that works. But, um... It's a weird strategy. Yeah. White cotton panties blinding in the moonlight. Let's see what that's but yeah. So they're holding the skirt up facing the the skeletons. They're basically hiding, like, they're holding the skirt up to hide them from the skeletons. Okay. I will both... say, Zeke, that given your skills, and given that you already have gotten some, some, you're already away from them, Yeah. you could just sneak away further, putting more distance, or you could straight up run. <laughs> you know, thinking that... You're... Run, is he gonna make noise? Might make noise, but... Since you're already pretty stealthy and the, the skeletons seem to be in that house, you feel mm -hmm. like you might have some distance. 
you might have you might have the ability to just go sort of quick and also it's like if it makes noise who who matters they're gonna come eat the girls behind the skirt anyway can Ra is Rawlings does Rawlings see me yeah and you and Rawlings can actually converse before you do this because okay can he I hid just, with I mean, you I'm just gonna okay. all right we're gonna so you guys are gonna move or you're gonna sneak I'm gonna I'm gonna move as fast as she's moving understood so it's, yeah, it's on you Zeke are you gonna sneak away or are you gonna rush away um, here's the thing. Last time I rushed away too obvious. So I'm going to try and keep sneaking the fuck away. I like it. All right. Quickly, so but I'm going to sneak. So both of you do sneaks. Sorry, Rawl Rawlings was like, let's movement because I'm fast. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have a depend. Sorry, right. last time Zeke booked it when this shit was going on, it did not end well for her. So she's going to learn a lesson. Good news for you though, Zeke, is if you can get over 12, you're not leaving any tracks, which is nice. Yeah. All right, and I get to roll two, right? You do get to roll two. Rawlings, you can do your sneak as well. Ah, oh, I rolled a 20. You rolled a 20, congratulations. Regain two power, Zeke. I rolled an 11. An 11. So yeah, you're, Zeke is like one with the shadows, but you are like, you are not making, you're, because of how well Zeke's doing, you're just kind of stepping where Zeke stepped yeah. and you're not making much noise. In there was only one this, set of footsteps. Um, I'm gonna say that enough time has passed here, just because of like how long we've been playing. Everybody regain one power if you're not at your max, just from the hour passing. Thank you, Dread Daddy. But Zeke is. Well, I earned Zeke. my power the hard way. You did through it through luck. Through luck. Is it is it is it two power you get back for a D20? Liv I, ha uh, Zeke oh, has a facet that gives you extra. Awesome. Power. Everyone gets one, but Zeke gets two. Got it. Yeah. Uh, so, Asha would be proud. Thank you, God, for considering. That's it. Asha super spy. That's for Monday. Don't worry about it. Um, so, as you, as you all, as Zeke and Rawlings creep away, we're gonna roll for some skeletons. Yeah, I was like, there's more of them. Two. Skeletons in the house roll a five. They've been rolling terrible, but I like it's like appropriately. They're walking through the house like idiots. Other skeletons. That's more like it. So, um, I won't do this to you again, Lauren. Would Dan and Zane please roll a d13? Yes. Let's see which side encounters the others. Six. Oh, oh had six. Yeah. Roll off. Reroll. Pair of sixes. Roll off. <laughs> a pair of sixes. Pair of sixes. <laughs> Twelve. Thirteen. Oh, oh. Fuck's sakes. All right. <laughs> uh, so. All right. So roll it again. Let's see what happens. Thirteen. Oh fuck. No Are way. you fucking lying? No you way. piece of shit. <laughs> oh. Wow. Okay. Bye, baby. Man, you're gonna get both of us killed. Okay. Bye again, Rawlings. So, bye bye. First of all, oh, this is about to get. This is about to get great. Oh, I know what that. I know the other horror search. Okay, so basically, Rawlings and Zeke, the two of you are sneaking excellently. We'll get to you in initiative in a moment, but. <laughs> You both are, are, you are both hidden and Zeke is like pulling, and basically Rawlings behind you and Zeke, you like grab Rawlings and pull him like, like, you know, like, like not in like a, not in like a hot sexy way and it just like idiot, like get like, you just like by like, yeah. by like the wrist or some weird like awkward thing. And you're just like, you guys are just up here because four more skeletons walk right where you were and they stop. then oh no these would go before mini okay uh okay so okay perfect um mini you and shelly are watching at the house you are not sure what to do but suddenly you hear coming from Sulk House. You're kind of like, okay, well, Zeke was right about something. You hear a horrible, spectral scream. A ghostly, pained child. I need Minnie and Shelly, given your proximity, to 
to roll me a self-control roll. What are your mental talents? Here we go. Got to go Laura Brandon. I have an imp on that one. So what is that? So Wait. that means it's it's less about, it, in a circumstance like that, it's more about like what you could, the level that you could ultimately accomplish of it. It's not so much about... Okay. About, yeah, it doesn't give you a mechanical advantage. It's more just like you're, you're even, like you could resist things Minnie could not. If it, you could even make the attempt. Minnie, what do you got? 15. Shelly. Um, I got an eight, but I'd like, I think I'm going to re-roll. Spend a power with... re-roll. Probably worth it. Power. <sighs> 16. Okay. 16. Okay. So Minnie and Shelly, you both, Shelly, you keep your hands on the skirt and you're just both like hiding, but you can tell that horror is surging in the salt house. Skeletons entered and have awoken ghosts. Oh, good. So there's two horror surges going on. We'll see how they interact with all of you. So that's the sort of bad circumstance here. Minnie, it is your spotlight once again. Spotlight is on you. Um. So we can't strategize and then move. No, you can't. You definitely can. It's just if you if you start doing like a full in character conversation, okay. that's going to be what you'll. So, be. so I I know what ha that that something very bad is happening in that house. Yeah, you, there is part of you that's like, okay, well Zeke Zeke was right. That was not a, glad we didn't go in there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she'll turn to Shelly and say, "We have to run away. We have to get away from the house." You're right. This is, this is bad. And so she'll start to run. Okay. Movement. Make your movement. Yeah, but she will. She will make sure to like not take the skirt or anything. No, you're not. Yeah, you're. You're not. You're not pull. Yeah. Okay. So, so Minnie, make your movement roll. Shelly, are you gonna run? Gonna run with her? Yeah, as running while putting the skirt back on. Okay. Well, that well, will take a separate roll because that's that's not easy. Unless it's a romantic comedy, and then it's very, and then you can get dressed while moving and drinking coffee, but you'll probably spill it all in a really charming way. You know what? No, she'll just hold it. Okay, cool. Hold it. Um, Minnie and Shelly, make your movements. I rolled a 12. A 12, okay. I'm going to re-roll this one. Understood. I got an 8, so I'm re-rolling. I get, I get why you would in this circumstance. 20, baby! Nice! 20! So that was a, fr if you spent the power, that was a free reroll you just got. You spent a power to do it, but then you got the power right back from the reroll. Oh, well, sick. Done. Okay, I'm not going to change my... Exactly. Change my well done. So, Shelly and Minnie take off. That was great. Zeke, there are skeletons right next to you. What do you want to do? So they're, they're how, I mean, they're right next to us. Like, like we're 10 feet in there. away, kind of looking through the trees, feeling like there's something. Do I think if I'm able to throw a rock in the other direction that they'll just follow the sound? I think you could, they, they do seem to be reactive to just basic stimuli like that. So yes. Okay. Uh, make it D13 roll. Okay. Let's see what you can find to easily pick up. Yeah, see throw. if there's even, if I'm lucky enough for there to be something here. Yeah. A nine. A nine. Nine is pretty good for a D13. You, you pick up like a, uh, you pick up like a pretty good, like hefty sort of rock should have a, you know, it's, it's not a perfect missile, but it should have a, should be able to make a big sound. So typically this is things like throwing our exertion. Okay. Um, although I could allow a throw if you, if you were better at, uh, I guess I could allow a fine motor skills. Okay. Where it's just a little more of like a finesse sort of thing, because I guess mm -hmm. since it's a small thing, it's not like a, you're not really trying to get distance, you're just trying to get like sound over there. Yeah, just like some uh, other direction. Draw Perfect. their d attention over there so they think there's people over there and they go in that direction. Perfect, okay. So go ahead and do a fine motor skills. Okay, for that I have ace and effective. So effective in this case, uh, so go ahead and ace just means you get to reroll uh, one for only one power, two, three, four, five for free. Okay. Which is cool. Um, and effective, uh, where is this one? Effective fine motor skills is you avoid causing unintended damage. So it's like if you're ever like picking a lock and you have effective, okay, you won't it. So break your tools really... even if you fail. Kind of. 
it doesn't really help here. In this case, it doesn't. And then do I get two rolls for this? No, I only get one. You only get one. It's not, yeah, it's not adept. I'm not I adept. shouldn't have had two that started with the letter A. That's my bad. I shouldn't have ace. Okay. I should change ace to something else. Whatever. Okay. This is the place for the helpful hardcore folks. I rolled a 10. A 10. Okay. So Rollins. Zeke, man. Do you want to keep that? You could also re you could spend to re-roll if you'd like. Mm -hmm. But once we move to Rolling Spotlight, it will be his turn. You could also add add power to add just add power. You to could roll. also add power. Oh. You could you could spend three power and make it a thirteen. Non natural, so it doesn't trigger a thing. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Cool. Okay. So yeah, with a thirteen, you manage to just kind of toss the rock a good distance away, and it does kind of like kind of make a few noises, and the skeletons all move and rush in that direction. Rollins. What do you want to do? Um, um, I want to. How like how far away are the skeletons now? Also, will you know what? I'm gonna roll there. Typically, they go after you guys, but I'm gonna roll theirs now. Uh, they they just they move quickly away over in that direction. This is the last of the skeletons of these three rounds. This is or... the this is the third round. One round okay. eating your friends. Second round in the house. Third round out in the forest. You've you've okay. basically led them astray. So Rollins. I mean, can I make an intuition roll to see if I think like they're far enough away that I can safely move? That sounds good. Let's do an intuition. I love that. Let's take uh, that. So adept and effective. So perfect. I get. Two, basically two rolls. Sounds good. Uh, well, one's a thirteen, but the other one's a fourteen. So you go with the third. You go with the yeah. fourteen. Yeah, and I rolled a, oh, a twelve or higher. So you do. So in this case, uh, it basically means you're not going to um, you you won't that the the be, the effective benefit of this is more when you're like trying to like tell if someone's lying where you're sort of like yeah. So in this okay. case, but in this case, it I will say that you are you are fairly confident that they. They think something's running that direction. They seem to be moving in that direction. And that was that that was my role for this spotlight, right? This was your role for this, yeah. Okay, so, but then I'll just then I'll just like I'll look at Zeke and I'll just and I'll just I'll just like go like and then like get like I'm ready to move. Perfect. Okay, so you guys are ready to move. Yeah, Rawlings, you, you probably suspect that they didn't they from what you can tell and what you can hear they didn't like stop and see the rock and turn around they are assuming something went that away so that's yeah. the good news um i did theirs i gotta do some stuff some other places okay ah now we're talking all right so mini you started running yes You rush through the forest. You're, you're, you're not making a ton of noise, but just for the sake of whatever, I'm going to say that you sort of come running a few moments later and you see Zeke and Rollins. They're like hiding very carefully. Looking off sort of to your left as you rush up on them. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm coming up behind them. Yes, or from the side of some whatever it is, they're like up against a tree like this, and they're looking off, sort of to your to like your left as you go. Okay, I'll just go up behind them and crouch down to hide as well. Perfect. Make a sneak roll. Shelly, do you do the same? Shelly does the same. Cool sneak roll. I love it. Uh, Shelly's gonna re-roll that because that was a three. Mm. Get a better one, baby. It was an 18 now. Okay. Much better. There you go. So basically, Zeke and Rawlings, as you two are probably just like, like they both just like slide in, Shelly holding her skirt. But the four of you are now kind of like hidden. And uh, if you all look, you do see that there are, there are some skeletons in the distance moving away. They didn't seem to have heard anything here. So Zeke, it is now you. Oh. Um, Minnie and Shelly are pretty hidden. You and Rawlings are fairly hidden. You kind of stepped out a little to throw that. That's why they saw you. Okay. So, you know, yeah. 
and they're off in that direction. Did we did we hear what was coming from the house? Ooh, did you and Rawlings hear? I don't. I think you guys were. You guys didn't hear that weird noise that you got from. Okay. So you're unaware of that now. Whatever. So the skeletons that are moving. So there's the ones in the house. The ones that I directed away. Are they near the house? Like where are we in relation? They, to everything? You you kept running past the house, kind of like back into the forest. Okay. So you have sent them deeper into. And then do I have any sense of where we are in the forest with respect to anything? I'll tell you what, just because you're all together, you let's have you and Rawlings do some, like, mental figuring out. Zeke, do, uh, that would just be an analysis. Let's have you just, okay. like, figure out where you Try are. Try to figure out where the heck we are. Navigate kind of rule, yeah. Yeah. Rawlings, what um, do you think you want to do on this as, as Zeke is kind of getting bearings? Okay, analysis. I mean, figure out why we're not moving now, but, um... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, I guess now, now that we're all quiet, they're here, can, I, can I do like a, a hearing roll to see if I hear anything else coming up? Love it. Well, I rolled a 15 and a 2, okay. so I'm going to take the 15. Go with 15, sounds good. Zeke, you do get a sense of like, okay, so if you want to get to the road yeah. that would lead back to town, you understand which way you go, and it is away from where you sent the skeletons. So that's okay. beneficial. Rawlings. 19. 19. You listen, S. Grant. Okay. I'm going to roll uh, this to I, see. I don't... I'm glad I rolled a 19, but now I'm just going to talk. The good news is, you can hear. But the bad news is, you hear a different, eerie, whispering sound. There is some kind of... Ask for scratch! Ask! <laughs> Kind of this like kind of like wailing whisper, very ghostly. You're from Merkshire, no role required to recognize that it is ghost. But the point is, you can tell that there are other things here in these woods. There are definitely ghosts around. Um, Speaking okay. of which, the four of you hidden. Well, actually, yeah. If you want to say anything, go ahead. Um, I think there are ghosts here. We need to go now. All right, that way is to the road. Okay, let's go. Okay. All right. So, as a group, I think you guys should discuss this. Are we going to sneak to the road, or are we going to sprint to the road? Is this a is this a run? Is this a run, or is this a creep? I would rather just get the fuck out of here. Okay. Yeah, at this point, I'll run. Okay, cool. Sounds. So, you guys, let's go. So, everyone give me a movement roll. Gotta get moving. Thirteen! Dan, I hate you. All right. All right. Here it is. Uh, I'm, yeah. Okay. Moment of truth. Damn. Roll at D13. If we have a third horror surge, welcome back. Not nah, a six. Sorry. Yeah, no. Sixty-nine. Sixty-nine, baby. <laughs> Woo Different kind of surge, am I right? <laughs> hey. Ha. Huh. You're telling Only me. Only if you know what you're doing. Um, 14. Same. 14, Four, oh, 14, 13. I did two. 14? Yeah. Three 14s? I 14 tonight, yeah. All right. Okay, that's weird. So you guys sprint. Over the beast. So all I'm going to do here is... Actually, good. Can I spend... Can I spend... Can I spend two power to make mine into a 15? I also, like, obviously, like... Yeah, <laughs> just to do a little better than them. So you're, yeah, so you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're, you're not the last person. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love this for you. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. What a bitch. And since he has precision power, yeah, he could just spend a little bit. He doesn't spend an increments of three. Good move. Hi. All right. Hi. You don't have to be the fastest. You just don't want to be the slowest. Amen. Fuck you, Rawlings. So it is interesting we talk about the slowest because three of you are tied for slowest. Yeah, hi. Hi, Toby. So you all run. Rawlings, you edge ahead. You're just digging deep. Basically, edge, ed, you're giving them an education. Yeah. And Rawlings, as you sort of like rush past them, these, these children, you're just like, better them die, they're young, they haven't lived as much as I have. Kind you of don't know what I know. Yeah, exactly. As you're sort of sprinting, 
at being from Merkshire, you can feel a ghostly presence. Yes, something sort of welling up behind you in these woods. Shelley, Zeke, and Minnie, you are all tied. However, you also all rolled a decent run. You've been exceeded by your enemy here, but it's a, there, there's, there's kind of like a not. So basically, <sighs> here's what I'll do. Zane, you are one through four. Liv, you are five through eight. Lauren, you are nine through 12. And on a 13, it's everyone. <clears throat> Yo. Shelly. Aw. You are running. Your, your skirt trailing in your hand. this ghostly child just kind of like emerges in pain wearing old fashioned clothing kind of <laughs> out of the woods I want you to make a self control roll roll 20 baby 20? No. Oh. alright so first of all regain one Shelly hmm Excellent. Okay, because of that, we're gonna give you you're only gonna do half of, of the of the sort of harm they cause here. So you are gonna lose an additional two power. Okay. Because the ghostly hands kind of like like do like reach through you and touch you and you you feel this chill to your bone. But you you move your shining white cotton panties through through the woods and keep pace with the others Zeke and Minnie are like like both of you honestly actually Zeke and Minnie both of you give me a self control as well it's more mm. about it's more of a it's more of just kind of like a flavor thing not a 17 17 self control is under what it is under mental alright yeah I'm just normal there alright oh and my self control is an imp by the way 15 your self control is an imp. Give yourself one power back. Then. The fact that your imp actually no, you know, give yourself two power. You take no damage from it. Mm. Nice. You 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 Fire you do not. Effort. You keep the yeah. You you're gonna with a twenty on self control. You take no damage. Absolutely. Oh, well, you were the right yeah. one to get what that. What did you have, Zeke? Fifteen. Fifteen. Yes, Minnie and Zeke. You both like you want to scream because like ghost child like grabs for Shelly, but she just keeps rolling. But. Her glasses are still on, so she's not hot yet. <laughs> and with that, the four of you make it to the road. The set piece ends. The horror is done for now. You're all panting, just like they're like Rawlings having. Basically, Rawlings ran. Rawlings left three high school girls to die, but they all made it out. A real fucking chivalrous dude. Is it? There's only. Do you know how I survived for as long as I did? Do you know how? I don't I, care. I, I don't plan I, on dying I again. Ran. Can we I, just I, get the I fuck do out not of care about chivalry. Gets you killed. Okay. Do you understand? There is. Which way to town? For once, you've said something I can actually respect, but I still think you're a dick. It's that way. Only because you're on the receiving end. Let's go. Um. Oh. Oh. You are all. Oh, look. I was wondering where everyone had gotten off to. And uh, sort of like stand, kind of like just like standing on the road a bit ahead of you. Um, I took some of the beer, and it is uh, it is very sad. I could I could brew much better beer, you know, in like a in a watering can, with some with a loaf of bread and a little bit of a little bit of thyme. Why? Ex excuse me, young lady. Um, why are you not wearing your skirt? Oh, I see. Were you getting up to sort of the um, the sort of. Uh, you getting up to sort of the spielen out, out in the woods, yeah? I, excuse me, I was using it as camouflage to Ca protect camouflage. What's this camouflage? Is this when? Is this when you can see the line in the? This is. Oh no? uh, Shelly is putting it back on and saying, "Who even are all of you?" Oh, I'm Johannes. I am an exchange student from somewhere um, else. You can call me Rawlings. I'm also from abroad. I'm They're from, from Europe. 
Oh yeah, that explains us. Read a lot about that. Um, so why were you going to that party? You look way too old. We just uh, stumbled upon it, excellent. And we just got into town via train. And we... Oh, oh, I. Uh, are you saying that? They to don't age well over there. They don't put preservatives. Are you in saying there. that to Johannes or just Rollins? Uh, I don't. Ha does uh, does Johannes appear older? It's an interesting question. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna roll for this. I just like they don't age well. They don't put preservatives. Roh in. Johannes does look old, but since he's a little distance, he goes, "Oh no, I must be standing oddly in the light." And he sort of does this, and then he steps up, and he looks like a teenager. <laughs> um. Forgive me, I think in the shadows you must have assumed that I was an, an old man. Ha ha ha, look at him, he's so old and, and wrinkled. Anyway, yeah. come on fellow teenagers, let's, let's make the most of our time being young and alive. <laughs> yes, can we please go into the, into, into town? Yes, please. Well, can... we're coming with you. By all means. Yeah, sure, whatever. All right, and with that, congratulations, no one died. But we had two war surges and things were intense. Dude. Jesus Christ. I, uh... That's right. I, well, I, some of you I are thought that, Dan. You were real excited until you realized Rollins might die. Yeah. Oh. So welcome back to Paradise, everyone. Oh, um, thank you so much for being here. Next week, we will still be in Paradise, but we're not going to be picking back up with this story. We'll have a special... Well, we're going to do something else. It's going to be fun, but it's going to be very on the, on the theme of this. Um, but yeah, Paradise, there's going to be some some stuff's going to go on here, and I'm really excited. So thanks, everyone. Welcome back. So wonderful playing with you all. Such a delightful time. Um, we have some other games on this channel. You can check out. out. On Sunday, we have Here Be Dragons. Again, last Here Be Dragons. I've said this a few times this week. The last Here Be Dragons kicked stuff up a notch. Andrew was doing some character-motivated stuff that was a disaster, and he is playing his terrible character so honestly, and it is it is kind of incredible to watch. So come check that out on Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Pacific, here on the stream. On Monday, the Dreamlands right now, it, the choice is between Magically and Delicious. I don't know what's going to win. I think Magically is a little bit ahead. And it'll be a fun one, but Delicious is also fun too if it wins, so keep voting on our Discord. On Wednesday, I think we'll be here with Top Flight Tales. I say that every week, but one of these days it'll be true. And then a week from tonight, back with more Blood from a Stone. Um, go to our Discord to interact with us, our YouTube to watch old episodes, our wiki to see how all these games intersect. Um, do we have anyone to thank in chat tonight? I think we have many people to thank in chat tonight. We have many, many to thank. We wanted to, first of all, thank our... Uh very on Steinbergler for subscribing for 38 months total. Wow. One away. Close. One away. No, no. And uh, I, I have been subscribed for 36 months because for the first, uh, you know, kind of four months of this game, Lauren was playing and I was like, I want friends. And I would just sit there alone watching it anyway. I invited him to play when I first started playing, just so everyone knows. He was like, no. Well, I don't Lauren was like also, it. it was you. Lauren, I think, only played in one Blood from a Stone without you. She was playing in a different game. Yeah. Pretty pretty quickly, once you played a Blood from a Stone, it was like, keep him here forever. Yeah. <laughs> now you have friends. Him, Yay. And more and more. And we all became friends. We did. Uh, we, uh, we, we, you know, and that wasn't even all that happened this evening. Uh, we we had uh, the Rose Explodes cheer 100 bits. Steinbergler cheered 1,000 bits. Whoa, that's so many bits, man. That's a lot of bits. We hit... Hype Train level one, then Galanorian Saber came in hot with uh, a, a, a monthly uh, tier one sub gift. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I was inspired and gave out five sub gifts. Then we hit level two. Then the Rose Explodes cheered five bits. I don't think she knows what they are. Then Galanorian Saber cheered another community sub gift. And then we hit Hype Train three. And then the Rose Explodes cheered five bits. And then she didn't, she didn't know what that was. And then Ben Hader cheered a thousand bits coming coming in hot and then the rose explodes was like what are bits and cheered a hundred of them <laughs> and then we hit hype train level four and then the rose explodes used used 30 bits to make a big tombstone and then oh. uh, steinbergler who knows what bits are did an on-screen celebration with 40 bits then the rose explodes used 40 bits to do an on-screen celebration and then used 20 bits to write you can do all sorts of fun stuff with your channel points 
not knowing that she was paying money for these things. Oh, man. And that's what happened in our chat today. Wow. <sighs> I have to say the little celebrations are fun, though. But the, wait, but the, so even the okay, thing for right. channel, the, the channel point redemption cost you bits as well? Uh, no, no. no that was unrelated. <laughs> I just thought it was channel points instead of bits, because it's all oh. in the same menu. Let's see. It is Guys, so funny. I've been on Twitch for like four years at yeah. this point. Except here's the thing. I've been on Twitch that whole time. I don't know. I know even less of this. <laughs> I've n I'm never on the part of like, I don't I have no idea what these things are. We should, it, I'm sure people on this channel, I mean, we've been here for years. I'm sure there's people with like, how many channel points do people have? Like th hundreds of thousands? I have 168.6 thousand. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, I should, I have, I have should let you do something with those. Also, what's wild is I just looked over, I, apparently I made my account in September of 2015. Wow. Yeah. You were just a boy back then. It's been a long time. I was, I didn't even have any pubic hair. <laughs> Thank you for sharing with the class, Dan. I think it's pronounced, you can sit down I think now. it's pronounced public hair, right? Public hair. Public, public. public hair. I want you all to look at my public hair. Um, well, oh, wow. I <laughs> got her in serious. Look at oh, wow. Sophia and got her in saber. Yeah. Oh, bro. So many points. <laughs> I have 280. Okay, like, cause, because, like, I just, I only have the channel on when it's games I'm on. Galador and Saber is Let's check just, them all like, out. it's win it, yeah. Much, much appreciated. Um, hey, awesome. Wow. Well, thank you all so much. I really should do something to just uh, to let you redeem those and do something cool. I don't know what that should be. Redeem, like, 250,000 channel points for, like, a, a cool thing that we were texting about today. The little celebration. Remember we, we did both? And we also did, yeah. no, no, the celebration is, is not points no i no, but you can make uh, you might be able to make it into a thing that so when we roll a 13 little 13s will do, 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 do. that's cool but oh. i would rather like i'd rather someone like like redeem two hundred and fifty thousand channel points to like prevent a character death or something i yeah. have proposed did, like, things both. like that before yeah so you can do that on the back end you can set up little like little things like that okay oh yeah, i love I mean, we have plenty the back end. That's a good joke about backends. Well, um, does anyone here, all these players are wonderful and they do cool stuff on the line. Would any of you like to plug any of your channels or stuff you have going on or specific endeavors and behaviors? Or, okay. Not a channel, but if you're local to LA, I'm doing a show tomorrow night. Oh, in Santa cool. Monica. Santa Monica? Yep. Very cool. Information um, is in your stories, right? Information is on my Instagram as per usual. Very cool. Monica. Well, very good. Well, hey, thanks for playing, everyone. It's, it's so fun to have you back doing the silliness. What is the light? Um, thanks for watching, and we'll we'll see you all next time. Until then, have a dreadful night. <laughs>